Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another digital plan with me. We are going to be planning out the first week of June. <laughs> I cannot believe we are heading into June already. That is insane. I feel like I say this every single month, but truly the time is just flying by. So I am going to be using my Memorial Day kit this week and I wanted to start off this video just by praying for and thinking of all of our military family, the sacrifices that they have made, the loved ones that have been impacted by their service, and just appreciation for everything that our military does for our country and everything like that. So I know a lot of people will have like big barbecues and parties and things like that. And I think it's really important to just remember the purpose of the holiday, which is to honor our military, to be appreciative of them, and just to pray for them. Pray for them, their families, and everything that they do is just so tremendous. So just wanted to start off the video by saying that. So I am filming this. It's almost 10 o'clock at night on Friday. But tomorrow morning, which I typically would do my voiceover for this video on a Saturday morning, but tomorrow I actually have quite a bit going on. Andrew works at noon and I'm going to go shopping with my friend Kelsey. We're going to go to Trader Joe's and get some stuff. And it is monthly grocery shopping time. So preparing for our June like meal plan and grocery haul, there's a lot of work that goes into it. And especially when I film it, it's one thing to just like do it, but filming it requires a whole nother level of preparation. So I have to like kind of really plan it out and stuff like that. And we did do our big quarterly Costco haul, which is really helpful. So what we like to do is for our monthly meal plan, we really like to like shop from what we already have on hand. And the the bulk of that comes from Costco. So when we do our quarterly Costco haul, we stock up on a whole bunch of meat products and canned goods and things like that. Things that you can, you know, store in the pantry and the freezer. So yeah, so that's done, which is great. I have Andrew to thank for that because he went and took Maddie and was a rock star and did all that shopping, which was super, super helpful. It has been, not gonna lie, a struggle trying to balance working full time, running my business, and Andrew being back at work while raising two kids. Like it's been pretty crazy, but hopefully in the very near future, we will be able to make some changes that will make things a lot easier on us. But for now, we're just doing the best that we can do. We decided that during this time, it's important to prioritize date nights and things like that because Andrew and I, we do not get to spend a whole lot of time together. And I think it's really important with marriage that you are spending that quality time together and doing fun things and all that fun stuff. So, so yeah, we decided on the first and third Wednesday of every month, we're going to do a date night. And on the first Wednesday of the month, Andrew's going to plan the date night. And then on the third, third Wednesday of the month, I'm going to plan the date night. So that way we both have the opportunity to kind of surprise each other, which is fun. I'm currently on the hunt for a like good solid babysitter that lives in our neighborhood that we can like kind of just have ready to go like on the first and third Wednesday of every month, like kind of make that a normal regular regular thing there are a ton of babysitters who live in our neighborhood so i just need to kind of ask around and get an idea for it because really you know the kids go to bed pretty early so it would just be you know the babysitter watching them while they're sleeping <laughs> for the most part so but yeah that is something that we just need to prioritize it's something that we have wanted to do for a long time Andrew and I admittedly are not like the best at remembering each other and remembering to go out on dates and things like that. I mean, I feel like that's pretty common when you're both working or, you know, one spouse is working 60, 80 hours a week and then you've got two little kids on top of it. It's just, it can be really easy to let 
your relationship fall by the wayside. And the problem is that that creates a lot of damage. And I can speak to that from like personal experience because we've been there before and we just felt like we were kind of going down that road again. So, um, you know, sometimes it just feels like we're business partners in life versus like husband and wife. And so when we start to feel that way, that's when we're like, okay, we need to like go have some fun, do something for fun. Andrew and I are extremely goal oriented. We're always striving towards that next goal. We're very driven in that way, but we also need to remember to just live life. Um, a good friend of mine, Christina pointed out to us or to me rather, when we were hanging out, um, we were having a girls night over at my friend Bev's house. And she's like, ever since I know I've known you, I've just heard you talk about goals. Like, what do you, what do you do for fun? <laughs> and I didn't know how to answer her. Cause I'm like, I don't really know. Like, and Andrew was asking me, well, what would you want to do? What, what would be fun? Like, you know, for you as far as like date ideas. And I was like, I really have no idea. I enjoy reading, but I wouldn't consider that like a date activity, <laughs> if you will. And I have not been able to pick up a book in quite some time. Um, I think it's been at least a couple weeks because every single spare moment of my time is going to my business right now, which I'm totally okay with. Sometimes you have to do these temporary like big pushes to propel your business forward. And I know that the investment of time will be worth it in the long run. I really, really love everything that I've created so far. And I hope that you guys love it as well. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys, but yeah, it's been a sacrifice. Like, you know, um, running your own business is very exciting and it's like the greatest blessing in the world. Like I, love what I do so incredibly much. Um, having that creative outlet for me is really, really important, but it definitely entails a lot of really hard work and a lot of sacrifice, especially in the beginning stages when you're just starting out. I just launched my business back in September as far as Etsy is concerned. So it's definitely a lot, but one thing that I need to like work on <laughs> is I am a, admittedly like a workaholic. I can very easily get lost in work. Like I've always just been a hard worker. That's just, I don't know. That's just kind of how I'm programmed. And I tend to feel guilty if I'm not working, which I know might sound really silly, but like if I am sitting there reading um, sometimes it's hard for me to enjoy it because I just kind of think to myself like, oh, well, I should probably like be doing this. Like, oh, this is, I, I just read for an hour. Imagine if I had invested an hour into my business or whatever it may be, but oh, there's no like easy answer to it. That's one thing I've realized, like as far as balance is concerned, I don't know that balance even exists to be honest. And I've heard other people say that before. And I do agree. I don't think balance exists. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to give up on the pursuit of balance because I don't think that it's realistic. I think that your priorities shift and sometimes you realize like I need to invest more time into my marriage, which is kind of where Andrew and I are at. Like we need to invest more time into each other so we can strengthen our relationship. And sometimes you need to invest more time into your kids. You know, you, you want to go do fun things with your kids. They're only so little for so long and all of that. So sometimes there's that. And then of course yourself, um, especially for me being on a weight loss journey, which admittedly these last couple weeks have, has not been going the greatest. I think I've been stress eating a lot. <laughs> Um, and I feel like crap, so I need to get it together. Um, I don't know why, like sometimes, and I know like you should not be doing this, but sometimes I go on Instagram and I follow a lot of people who are on Weight Watchers and they make it look so easy. Like they accomplish their goals, they're crushing it. And I'm just like, 
sometimes I'm just like, what is wrong with me? Like, I can't even have like a consistent week sometimes, you know, or a consistent couple of days. And these people have consistent months. And I know that social media is just a highlight reel for the most part. And so you don't see the struggle as much, but I don't know. I, I, I turn to these people for inspiration, but sometimes I end up just getting really discouraged. Like, thinking like there just must be something wrong with me and the problem is is that I don't prioritize my health and my well-being as much as I prioritize anything else like that falls by the wayside and that is not something to be proud of it's not something to be boastful of I I do not wish to be a martyr or anything like that I just I don't know what it is but I just I put myself last constantly and I feel like I'm just in survival mo mode just trying to get by and finding that I don't have the mental energy which is like huge or like the right mindset to really commit to these goals that I have for myself but at the same time it's like if I were feeling better and I were healthier and I didn't eat as much junk food and I was at a healthy weight and all that kind of stuff, I would have better energy, which would lend itself well to my business and being with my kids and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I have to continuously remind myself of. I tend to like gravitate towards fast food because it's very quick and easy. I can order it on DoorDash now. I don't even have to leave my house. You know, I can just order it and there's food and it's not even most of the time that I even want it. It's not that I even want it. It's just literally that I want to sit at my computer and continue working and I don't want to be inconvenienced by having to go to the kitchen and make anything. And I know that sounds incredibly ridiculous, but that's the reality of the situation. So anyway, so I've just found myself feeling very angry lately, just like really angry at myself and just very frustrated, like get it together. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Like, I don't know. So I don't know if I'm alone in this. I'm sure I'm not. I'm sure some of you can relate to this, but, um, I have lost 20 pounds so far on Weight Watchers. I want to continue on this path. I am going into my sixth month on the program I would like to see quicker progress and I know I would see see quicker progress if I would be better prepared and meal prep more and all that kind of stuff but I don't know it just it's not a priority which like pains me to say that because it seems so like confusing like this is important to me right so it should be a priority like why like I will make sure I will move mountains to ensure that I meet my own self-imposed deadlines for my business, but I just give up quickly on the goals that I have for myself. And I just, I'm like, eh, well that can just wait. Like that'll just wait until this next, next big push. And then I'll be able to focus on it. But the thing is, is there's always an, another big push that comes about and so yeah, I just need to figure this out, you guys. Like, I don't know. If you guys have any tips at all, definitely let me know. Um, I'm definitely in one of those, and I don't mean for this to be like a super negative video, but I've said this time and time again, I like to keep it real on my channel, so I'm not here just to complain and stuff. I mainly, like, I'm just very open about this stuff because because I go and I follow these people on Weight Watchers, and all they show is the good, and I just compare myself and I'm like, what is wrong with me? And I just feel like by sharing like my struggles, hopefully, you know, that can help some of you out there to not feel so alone because sometimes I do feel very alone <laughs> in these things. You know, um, I work from home full time and I used to have like really close girlfriends who I also worked with um, and I'm able to see them still. We're still great friends, but we're, we don't get together a ton, you know, and it's a little different than seeing them every day at work. And, um, you know, social media can only get you so far. There's just that in-person interaction 
that means a lot. And so sometimes I do feel very just alone and I'm not really sure, like I struggle and I don't want to like burden anybody by talking about it. You know, I know I probably drive Andrew insane by talking about it. And it's just the point where like I try to avoid talking to him about it because it's just embarrassing. It's just something that like, I feel like I can't figure out at all. And um, yeah. So anyways, I did not mean to get on here and just like unload on you guys, but that's the headspace that I'm in tonight on Friday evening. It's just like, I feel like I, I'm drowning. I feel like I am drowning and I'm hoping that that will pass. It always does, right? It always does. That's what I keep reminding myself of. I'm going to lean heavily into my faith because I know that the Lord's got my back and everything, but, um, it's hard. It's hard these last. And I think it's really because Andrew's back at work and it's just like, I don't know. He's more stressed because he has less time for things. And I've tried time and time again to talk him into getting like a housekeeper. I would love to have a housekeeper come like twice a month and just do a clean of the whole house because it's really hard for us to keep up with, especially now that he's working and he's like not about it. So, <sighs> but I know we need to do something. So I don't know. Hopefully I can continue to talk to him about it and maybe he'll change his mind. But I feel like that would make a big difference is just some things need to come off the plate. That's why I decreased my YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff, you know, um, just trying to do the best I can do. Um, I know a huge piece of me being able to focus on health and wellness is getting up early, but I feel like it's not possible right now because I need to work after the kids are in bed. Like right now they're asleep. So I'm able to do this. And you know, a lot of times I'm up till midnight, one o'clock in the morning. And, um, you know, I've got one family member in particular, every time I see her, she asks about my weight and I know she means well, but I'm just like, uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I get it. Like your family members want you to be healthier and everything. I totally understand. And I know she's coming from a great place, but, um, I don't know. It just, sometimes I feel like the love in my family with certain people is very surface level and it's very uh, much about what you accomplish and what you look like and not who you are. And it really, really bothers me. <laughs> so, and I'm like, do you want to come live my life for a couple days and see why I'm struggling prioritizing this? I don't know. It sounds like a whole bunch of excuses, but, um, I'm struggling. I am struggling. I am struggling. So anyways, I'm just being brutally honest with you guys. Um, and again, sorry to like unload. And I don't mean this to be all negative. I know this will pass. This too shall pass. And I'm going to lean into my faith because I feel like when you're kind of in this like overwhelm type of feeling, like the best thing you can do is lean into the Lord because... His yoke is easy. His burden is light. He does not want me to feel like I am drowning. He's, I can picture Jesus just reaching out his hand and pulling me out of the water and being like, just take my hand stuff. I've gotcha. And so that's, I know that's my go-to. I just run to Jesus and he will take care of it. I know that, but in this present moment, you know, Andrew worked all day. I did bedtime by myself. I worked all the way up until he went to work and I'm working after the kids are in bed and I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm just really tired. So, but, um, tomorrow is a new day and it's another chance and I'm just going to try to do better. I'm going to try to do better tomorrow than I did today. So anyways, guys, that is it for this kind of downer <laughs> digital plan with me. 
Let me know something positive going on in your life in the comments down below. I would love to hear that. I think it's the best thing you can do. In my mind right now, I'm thinking of all the things I'm so incredibly grateful for. I'm so grateful for my healthy, giggly, silly little girls that are just so sweet. And I know that this time with them is precious. And so I feel very grateful that I'm able to put them to bed, give them baths, brush their hair. Like that is so special to me. I've always loved getting the girls ready for bed and giving them baths and just pampering them and all of that. I don't know. I just love that kind of stuff. And I'm grateful for our home, our beautiful safe, messy, <laughs> chaotic home because a lot of love happens here. And even though it's messy and chaotic, it's something that I cherish and that I'm so grateful for every day. So it's what you got to do when you find yourself kind of in these like negative head spaces. Think about what you're grateful for. Turn it around, you know, think positively. And when you're feeling overwhelmed and if you're feeling stressed out, don't shove it down. That's one thing that I have learned in life because I, I do that all the time. I just ignore it and I'm like, I don't have time to acknowledge these feelings. I don't have time to deal with this right now. I'm probably going to go have a good cry after this because I need it. Like allow yourself to feel it and release it and then move forward and pick yourself back up and you know, yeah. So anyways, that's my Ted talk. <laughs> oh man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you're having a great weekend that you have a wonderful Memorial day weekend. Um, yeah, again, let me know some positive things going on in your life down below. I'd love to read that and yeah, I will chat with you all later. Bye.